Hello, hello. So this is a bit of a weird one. This is the first virtual students forum. Um, I am recording it from home. It's not live. Um, so hopefully it'll go okay. Um, I'm not sure exactly what form it's going to take when it gets uploaded and how you'll interact with it. But I'm sending this over. Um, we'll see how it goes. So part of student forum is the sabbatical officers um, providing their accountability reports. Um, so it's all the stuff that we've been getting up to since the last student forum. Um, today, Mana and Beth, so Mana, our welfare and liberation officer, she, her, and Beth, our campaigns and activities officer, she, her, they're both unwell. So I'm actually going to read out their accountability reports today. So, um, we'll do Mona's first. Um, I'll just read out what she's written. So, I was away for some time because my dad was ill, then came back during the strike. Um, and then it was COVID-19. So, a bit of an unusual time working remotely. Um, with the COVID-19 situation, we've all had several meetings about what the SU and university are doing to support students better at this time. Um, a big part of that is the COVID-19 Emergency Hardship Fund. Um, a proposal was drafted for the university to get an emergency hardship fund. Still waiting to hear back. Um, there was a meeting today, but there's another meeting on Tuesday to finalise it. It's frustrating because uh, they want students, they the college, want students to provide more evidence. Um, and we're currently trying to get them to have a more accessible and quicker process. Also attended the Against Sexual Violence Board. Um, also attended the Fees Setting Working Group, which um, surrounds like student fees, scholarships, stuff like that. Um, and the university wants to increase fee costs next year, especially for international students and provisionally for EU students, um, read Brexit. Spoke against this. Um, then there was a meeting with Goldsmiths Anti-Racist Action, GARA, and senior management about the lack of action and progress on the GARA demands, accountability measures and next steps. Met with Vicky Foxcroft with the other SABs about the housing situation in the borough, interviews and hired a new SU advisor, new external trustees, new development and community manager and currently working on a handover document. Coming up, there are handover preparations, following up on the hardship fund and COVID-19, following up on GARA actions, meetings, liberation-related issues internally in the issue and structure, and meeting to discuss next steps. So that's all of Mona's accountability report. Um, I'll now do Beth's, so Beth, our campaigns and activities officers. Um, so... She was going to say that she has been working on the Students' Union Awards Night, which will be held virtually this year on the evening of the 15th of May. Um, coming up before the end of the year, I will be working on the training for new student leaders, trying to make it more accessible for different types of learners and allow it to be carried out while working from home. She sat on the Health and Safety Committee, raised questions about what support was being given to students remaining in halls and how to ensure that this support continues as long as needed. Coming to the end of my term, I want to wrap up my safe sesh campaign. So I've been working on writing my report with recommendations to come out. Um, and they can then advise the college on future approaches towards drug education on campus. And then part of the Vicky Foxcroft meeting as well, discussing student renters in both halls and private accommodation, pushing the uni to do a rent freeze, etc. Um, and the rest of the stuff that Beth has invo been involved in, um, is also stuff we've been doing as a team. So that's Beth's. And then for me, so hello again, I'm Lauren um, Corelli, she, her. Um, I'm currently the education officer and since the last student forum I was voted in as the next SU president for 2020-21 academic year. Um, so the next forum, sorry the last forum was a while ago now. Um, since then, a lot has happened, obviously. It was the end of strikes, or uh, midway through strikes then, I think. Um, then there were the SU elections. Obviously, a lot of our time has been massively taken up by the coronavirus pandemic, 
um, lobbying the university for like emergency support for students. The first few weeks, every single day, I'm not joking, working 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, it's been a lot, a lot. And the union is ultimately at the end of the day around probably like 20 people. <laughs> um, and a lot of this work is done by the sub team and a handful of others. So it has been really intense. Um, I personally have also been picking up Joe Lean's responsibilities for the past few months um, because he has been off sick. Um, so that means chairing our trustee board who kind of like overlook how the union is doing as a charity, um, that we're solvent as a charity financially and that everything's okay. So I've been chairing that. I've also been attending council in his place, which is like the highest body of the uni like uh, committee almost that overlooks um the senior management team and their work um so it gives scrutiny um it was also virtual nus conference which was interesting um so for the national union of students they have a conference where like, policy for the next year can be voted in you also vote for who the representatives will be like similar to the su elections um so attended virtually that um similarly like with points from uh Mona and Beth I was at the Vicky Foxcroft meeting um which was positive and Vicky is very much like behind students and has like offered us a lot of support um and opportunity to like get continuing support from her for like, everything um was also with uh, at the Gara meeting with senior management so we'll have to chase that up now and see what the next steps will be where the actions will go um what else similarly with uh beth and Munna, i have to organize now my handover which will be for fauzia who's coming in as the next education officer so just writing up all the stuff that's happened this year uh what campaigns were ongoing where certain projects were at what needs to be picked up maybe some advice stuff like that um and also to be honest a lot of this time has been helping plan support for the union itself so as i was saying with chair of trustee board um ordinarily i'm deputy chair of trustee board which is why with joe away i have to take up the chair position um but that means you know like budget meetings with the college working out what support our staff have throughout covid a lot of our staff will have to be furloughed um so just helping with that whole process um, making sure we have the right HR support, that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of like campaigns, there's a, a section here that asks us to talk about how our campaigns getting on. I'm sure, as many of you can imagine, our individual campaigns have been rendered basically like impossible <laughs> to manage or carry out because of all the kind of like massive um, events that have happened in the last two months i actually can't even believe how long we've been in lockdown it's been already has it been over a month i think so um so yeah the last two months have essentially been strikes and covid and they have taken up the majority of time um and we have like at various points had a really diminished sub team um at some points we've just had one member of the sub team able to work so um those things have kind of taken priority for me personally, I think extenuating circumstances was the main one of my campaigns that has managed to be relevant during this time. So a big win was obviously with COVID, being able to self-certify for basically any extenuating circumstance and win yourself a little bit of extra time. Um, with assessments, though, of course, if any of you have got me on social media, you'll know, but I don't think that does go far enough. Um, but that's that. Um... The priority at the minute is to respond to like COVID-19 as effectively as possible with the resources that we can as a union. I suppose one win has been that Evolving Goldsmiths has been officially cancelled. Um, though, of course, we do need to be cautious that various elements of it, the reasons that we were protesting, um, don't get enacted and slipped in under the radar just because officially it's been cancelled um so that's one to watch over the next short while we've got a section here that asks me what am i looking forward to and i think you know based on what i was just saying as i'm sure you can imagine it's a weird time to kind of feel positive 
um, and be looking forward to stuff because everything kind of feels quite, um, I don't know, like serious, obviously. Um, there's a lot of stuff to sort out um, in the next while. Um, but I do think one of the, I, one of the things I am looking forward to is when the new sub team um, start, I'm looking forward to working with the new three um, because I do obviously love my current sub team but I think it's nice to replenish like the energy levels and see what ideas are going to get brought in and yeah I'm excited for that because I love all three of them. Um, anything in terms of to flag I would say the don't know if you've seen it we have a report and support survey out at the minute um which is asking any of you who have been through the report and support system to feed to us kind of your honest experiences about the process um so that we can generate some reports to be able to feed back to the college and use in our own campaigning um but that is in an ordinary uh, student forum, that would be my about five minutes up. So I'm going to stop there. I'm not sure how this will now work in terms of being able to respond or questions or that kind of thing. But I'll leave it with our comms team and we can work it out from there. Thank you very much.